In the realm of aviation, a persistent call echoes through the corridors of industry. Change. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have held the reins as a formidable duopoly, commanding nearly 90% of the commercial aircraft market. However, recent events have illuminated the pitfalls of such dominance. Boeing's recent woes have plunged the industry into turmoil, its struggles with safety and quality control casting shadows over its ability to innovate. Despite Airbus's efforts, the pace of its operations fails to bridge the gaps left by its counterparts' missteps. This upheaval has left many airlines adrift, their strategic visions obscured by the inability to procure new aircraft for expansion. Now, more than ever, the industry yearns for an alternative, a third option poised to shoulder the burden in times of crisis. Enter Comac, China's indigenous aerospace titan, quietly vying to disrupt the Boeing Airbus hegemony. Yet, despite their aspirations, Comac remains an enigma to most, their presence in the market scarcely acknowledged. The root of this paradox lies in the tepid reception of Comac's flagship offering, the C919, a modern narrow-body contender challenging the likes of the 737 MAX and A320neo, the C919 seemingly aligns with airlines' needs, and yet its adoption remains scarce, confounding industry observers. So why does the aviation community hesitate to embrace the C919? It may initially appear disingenuous to suggest that the C919 isn't moving units when glancing at its order book. With over 850 orders spanning 24 customers, the program presents a facade of vitality. While these figures pale in comparison to the Max and Neo, they surpass those of other established narrow-body competitors like the Embraer E2 and the Airbus A220. For an emerging player like Comac, this could be viewed as a resounding success. However, a deeper dive into the data unveils a different story. Of those 24 customers, a staggering 23 hail from within China, either as airlines or lessers. Why does this matter? Well, it so happens that the Chinese government holds substantial stakes in the majority of the country's airlines. And who else does the government have a vested interest in? You guessed it. Comac. If the dots aren't connecting yet, allow me to elucidate. The very entities constructing the C919 are the same entities procuring it. In essence, Comac hasn't secured a single order from an independent customer, save for one fledgling airline with no operational history. As I alluded to earlier, this discrepancy doesn't align with the current market dynamics. Airlines are scrambling to acquire new jets, while Boeing and Airbus struggle to meet demand. In fact, purchasing a new 737 MAX or A320neo today could entail a wait of over a decade before delivery, a timeline set to stretch even further. Recently, the FAA imposed production limits on Boeing, exacerbating supply constraints. Given these challenges, one would anticipate some interest in the C919. So, why hasn't the C919 gained traction in the market? Two significant issues plague its sales performance. The first revolves around aircraft performance. Despite being a 21st century design, the C919 struggles to compete with the range and efficiency offered by its counterparts, the 737 MAX and A320. This discrepancy stems from Comac's reliance on Chinese suppliers who lack the expertise to provide cutting-edge components. Consequently, 91% of the C919 is constructed using non-Chinese parts, mainly from Western suppliers wary of intellectual property theft. A prime example is the engine choice. While the Leap family of turbofans powers the Max and Neo, the C919 opts for the Leap 1C, detuned and based on older technology akin to the CFM56 platform from the 1970s. This compromises the C919's performance, with analysts estimating it to be 5 to 10% less efficient than its Western counterparts. As a result, the C919 occupies a middling position, falling short of the Neo and Max while surpassing older models like the A320 and 737NG. For airlines seeking efficiency, the C919's compromised performance poses a dilemma. 
especially amid supply constraints delaying deliveries of the Neo and Max. While it could serve as a temporary solution, bridging the gap until more efficient options become available, this hinges on prompt delivery, a prospect currently out of reach. In essence, the C919 sales drought stems from its inability to match the performance standards set by its competitors, compounded by supply chain challenges and technological limitations. This brings us to problem number two, availability. While China is renowned as the world's factory, mastering aircraft production presents a whole new level of complexity. Unlike phones or TVs, passenger jets consist of millions of precisely fitted parts. Even a minor error, as evidenced by Boeing's recent troubles, can result in catastrophic consequences. Despite China's manufacturing prowess, COMAC still has much to learn before it can efficiently and safely produce the C919 at scale. Since production commenced in 2011, only 10 planes have been completed, averaging less than one per year. In stark contrast, Boeing and Airbus churn out over one plane per day. COMAC aims to ramp up production, targeting seven units in 2024 and an ambitious 150 per year by 2030. However, even if they achieve this goal, far from guaranteed, it will still take them well into the 2030s to clear their order backlog. This undermines any advantage gained from having a smaller backlog than the Neo and Max. It's essential to recognize that COMAC isn't being dismissed as a joke. Both Airbus and Boeing are closely monitoring their progress, acknowledging China as a significant future competitor. In the long term, COMAC is poised to make substantial sales beyond its borders. However, in the present scenario, its offerings lack the compelling edge needed to attract international airlines. The C919 falls short on both efficiency and availability. Consequently, it's improbable that many airlines outside of China will invest in the jet in its current state. For better or worse, the Boeing Airbus duopoly is likely to persist maintaining its dominance in the commercial aircraft market. In conclusion, the aviation industry finds itself at a crossroads, grappling with the emergence of new players like COMAC amidst the long-standing dominance of Boeing and Airbus. While COMAC's ambitions are formidable and its potential undeniable, challenges loom large on the path to widespread adoption of its offerings. The C919, while representing a significant step for Chinese aerospace, faces hurdles in performance, availability, and market appeal. Despite the attention it commands from industry giants, its current limitations hinder its immediate impact on the global stage. As we navigate these dynamics, one thing remains clear. The Boeing Airbus duopoly stands firm underscored by their enduring reputation, expansive fleets, and proven track record. While the future holds promise for newcomers like COMAC, the road ahead is paved with challenges that demand innovation, adaptability, and perseverance. In the ever-evolving landscape of aviation, only time will reveal the true extent of COMAC's influence and its potential to reshape the industry's landscape.